Audio Jungle. What's up guys, I've been Alexa here and again I'm back with another YouTube video and in today's video actually I'm gonna be showing you how you can use your iPad with a keyboard. This is a hardware keyboard, it's around um, $10 on Amazon and um, as you can see this is the one which I have and uh, it doesn't come with a mouse or anything but um, I'm okay with that. Anyways, you can uh, you can use this keyboard with this iPad. It is really compatible, and um, uh, I'm gonna show you here that it is actually working. This is my passcode. I don't know. Let me first delete. I don't know if you can see, but I'm entering my passcode now. Da 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 da. da. It has opened. And actually, you can also use it for gaming uh, after customizing it a little bit. And if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. So this is a Bluetooth keyboard. I want you to head over onto your onto your like your keyboard and turn it on. Right now, I've turned it on. Okay, and it is searching. And you need to go to Bluetooth. And then um, you search for it. Try connecting it. Okay, it has connected. And um, before we go any further, so the keyboard right now it is working. It is working, but uh, you don't have like when you place maybe escape. When you try placing these other buttons, they are not working at all. They are only working like when you're trying to type something. Let me go into the notes and uh, create a new note here Kids. okay let me try create a new note as you can see it is working but when i try pressing the escape button it is not working the f1 works as the decreased brightness and then the f2 works as increasing brightness and then um, these other buttons they are not working very well and this one, the volume up works very well and the volume down works very well. F12 and F11, those are the volume down and volume up. And then um, backspace works and yeah, pretty much everything works. Um, I can try and caps lock. And um, when you place FN, let me try and see. FN tab, it works very well. Switching through tabs, blah, blah, blah. It can work very well. Uh, yep, it works very well. But um, all I want you to do before we go any further, I want you to head over to like your settings and then you search for you search for accessibility and then you head over to sorry you head over to keyboard you see it here keyboard and then you turn full keyboard access on and after turning it on you will see that it, the buttons will be working very well and um, yeah we need to do a little bit of customization so in here we're gonna be customizing our keyboard to match our needs so I'm gonna be showing you step by step now for help here you need to press like this is the basic for help you need to press the the tab button and then the H button to bring it up let's test it up tab and H bring help yes as you can see it is bringing it very well and um, to move forward to move backward you need to press the shift button and then the, the right direction to move backward I think that works when you're when you're in a browser to move up I think these buttons are really pretty good and then I um, move down move left activate I think it is enter that is good home button i think it is the escape button you need to put it in and then um and then i um, move forward movements are really that i don't need to to like we need to customize it and to customize anything here you need to press the space button yep the space button here and then um, you put in what you want. For me personally, I would love the F4 to be my find button. Okay. I would love the F4 to be my find button. 
what is happening i'm here please come on i'm fine i would love the if oh my god why isn't it doing what i want i think anyways i'm okay with this let me try and press shift with f maybe that will work for me shift and f that's okay for me and then to activate go back go back you place the i would like to have the go back button um, let's try shift and b yeah that's okay for me and then um context your menu context your menu i don't have anything without actions and then i z direction and z it's okay for me and then um for a device home i think the home is just the escape button and then the, the app, app switcher you need to customize it but it depends on what you want you can press fn and then uh, you press the the f2 button i think that's okay with me app switcher let's try it out you press F1 and then um, F2. That's okay. It's okay with me. And then um, the control center. You press F1 and C. I. That's okay with me. And then notification center. So you can customize and map your buttons as the way you want. But personally, I don't have any issue with it. Um, for this one, I would like the Siri. It's okay rotate i would like it to be like that i don't have any issue with that path to mode the gestures these are really pretty important um let's say you have a problem like maybe you have somewhere where your touch doesn't work very well it's okay to use this you can just um go to if you want to touch something uh you can customize it and maybe me personally i would love to have the enter button to it but um anyways you can use the space button too and then um you can swipe down me i customized it to w sorry to a swipe up w and then um swipe left a and then swipe right d to zoom in rotate left you can also customize that and then um and then um you can create new shortcuts here which is okay but for now let's try and test out what we've just what we've just like done so as you can see f2 switches everything as you can see up switch i just press f2 and then it makes it everything really clear really looks cool you can switch Jesus. so for the gaming test i'm gonna be doing it on my iphone uh, it's where i usually do most of my gaming when i'm actually bored and i'm gonna try out uh, this game it's called um well, it's called need for speed okay so this is the video game that we're gonna be trying to test our keyboard to see if it's working okay and um let's try and hit the any race that we can have we're gonna go to person which we defeated already and um, we're gonna try and do that to see if it actually works well um bring it on okay okay bring it on okay sharing at the same time i need to see if my keyboard is well connected it is connected i want to stop recording and then i go to accessibility i want to see if i have all my buttons well mapped wait keyboard full screen customize move forward move backwards i need to see I don't have swipe up 
I'm gonna make it swipe up I'm gonna make it W and then I'm gonna edit swipe down as A and then I'm gonna edit swipe left as A and then I'm gonna edit swipe right as D okay there I can hit the rest now right so because I have my virtual sharing I can be able to Play this game very well. If I if I want to swipe, I have to swipe. So I know it is working. I am driving. I am driving. It's just a test guys for the swipe left swipe right it is actually working so you just need to find a way like to map these buttons to your to your video game that you're playing um yep and then you'll be good to go i tried free fire but free fire it's almost impossible to play it i think it's better to buy a controller when you're playing free fire or PUBG or Call of Duty but with racing games it's actually so pretty easy like that you can just select controls and then you you add your own mappings anyways that's it in today's video and if you found this video informative press drop like and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this thank you